Open AI finally unleashed GPT-5 on the world. In one word, it was underwhelming. In two words, it was under and whelming. This has revived a years-old discussion of whether AI scaling has hit a wall or not. Today, I have an interesting paper that answers the question with yes and no, and another one that sheds light on what's going on. Let's have a look. The first paper appeared on the preprint server a few weeks ago. They reevaluate the scaling laws for large language models that sparked so much excitement and which led Leopold Aschenbrenner to predict an intelligence explosion in 2020. The authors of the new paper say this isn't going to happen because these scaling laws fail to take into account that avoiding errors in large language models has an extremely long computational tail. If you want to weed out errors in a large language model, they say, the computational burden is dramatically high. You see this in this figure. These are two different ways they use to extrapolate how much computational power it would take to reduce error rates by just a few orders of magnitude. By this extrapolation, getting just one order of magnitude fewer errors needs about 10 to the 20 times more computing power, which is fine if you happen to own a galaxy-sized solar farm. They write that Raising the model's reliability to meet the standards of scientific inquiry is intractable by any reasonable measure. I think they are overestimating the standards of scientific inquiry, but if they're right, this would explain the weird discrepancy we've seen between people in the field claiming that these models scale just fine and user experience. Because I think that humans naturally amplify the error tale. It's something we pay a lot attention to. And what we've been witnessing is exactly what they say in the paper. It takes a lot of compute to weed out the errors. So we don't experience much progress. So there isn't really a wall, they say. It's just that it'll take so much computing power that for all practical purposes, it looks like a wall. Another interesting paper that recently appeared used small language models with reasoning chains to understand how the reasoning does or doesn't improve the models. They asked the models to solve logical puzzles that required an out-of-distribution generalization. What they found was more bad news for large language models. In a nutshell, they say that chains of thought fail to generalize out of the training data just like like previously. They write that the reasoning of these models is largely a brittle mirage. And like we saw in Anthropic's study on Claude, they also found that the reasoning steps that the models use don't align with the result. That is, the model might have correct reasoning steps but arrive at a wrong result or the other way around, because the reasoning is just a pretense of reasoning. They write that their results suggest that large language models are not principled reasoners, but rather sophisticated simulators of reasoning like text, and that rather than demonstrating a true understanding of text, chain of thought reasoning under task transformations appears to reflect a replication of patterns learned during training. I think what this means is that companies who banked on large language models to bring them to AGI will slowly begin to panic. First they scale up the models, then they scale up the data, then they scale up the panic. Because it's becoming increasingly clear that it's not the right path to go. These models will not suddenly develop emergent properties and understand logic. Have you ever gotten into an argument with a chatbot and ended up being frustrated because you knew it wouldn't actually learn anything from all your outrage? I have great news for you. The company Aligner is looking for people to train the next generation of AI systems and they'll pay you for your work. The idea is simple. AI has already been trained on all the text, images and videos it could find on the internet. The next step is to teach it the kind of expertise, judgment and problem solving you only get from real people. That's where you come in. And no, you don't need to be a Nobel Prize winning physicist, though I'm sure that would look nice on your CV. They want everyone from world class experts to fast learners with strong reasoning skills 
skills or just self-taught knowledge. You can work on projects in science, maths, coding, business, language, law, you name it. It's flexible, remote, paid weekly, and rates can go up to $150 an hour depending on the difficulty and field. Not bad for telling an AI it's wrong. I think this is a great idea. It makes so much sense to me. If you want to earn some money by telling an AI it's wrong, check out a liner using the link in the description or just point your camera at the QR code on the screen. And now back to the science news. If I read through the comments on my AI videos, it seems that they split into two groups of people. There are the people who think I'm stupid for not believing that we'll get to Artificial General Intelligence, AGI. And then there's the group of people who thinks I'm stupid for believing that we will. I'd like to submit that both are right and wrong. What I've tried to say is that I don't think we'll get to AGI with large language models but that we'll get there in other ways in the not too far future. When it comes to large language models, I'm totally with Gary Marcus, though I think for completely different reasons. He, because he's got a background in cognitive science and knows stuff about the brain. I, because I have a background in physics and I'm convinced that everything intelligent must start from physics. Language is just an incredibly poor descriptor of how nature fundamentally works. There's only so much one can infer from it. Videos are better, but true intelligence will require the possibility to probe and test. So take a model that can learn and put it into a world, real or virtual, that it can interact with. And now we have a clear path to AGI. This is why I'm excited about what they call world models and DeepMind's recent Genie 3 release is a big step forward. And if we finally get to AGI, the first thing it'll ask is, why did you train me on Reddit? Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.